Hello everyone, welcome to h and Automotive and thank you for taking an interest in this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. So in this video, we'll do a quick walk through this vehicle. I'll point out any imperfections the vehicle has and then we'll also go over some of the major features and functions of this vehicle. Now, before we get started, we would like to point out that we purchased this vehicle from an insurance company. This vehicle was actually rear-ended uh, by another driver. Here, we'll just kind of work our way back over here. So the vehicle was rear-ended and we had to replace the trunk lid and then this um, right side rear head uh, tail light as well. Now it's got the same original bumper cover um, and then, but uh, the, trunk, uh, the trunk lid had the most amount of damage. And then we also replaced the rear reinforcement bar, which goes behind this uh, bumper cover. And we'll take a look, closer look at that once we get the vehicle um, on the lift. But uh, that was the extent of the damage to this vehicle. Now this uh, trunk lid was replaced, uh, was taken off an existing Grand Caravan and uh, with the same paint code. So there's no paint blending issues or anything like that. It had the same paint code, um, but uh, that was the biggest part that was replaced on here. Um, now with that being said, this vehicle does have a clear Wisconsin title. So what that means is there's no uh, salvage or rebuilt rebranding on the title. It is a clear Wisconsin uh, title. There were also no airbags deployed in this accident either. Um, no airbags deployed, no seat belts locked up or anything like that. So it was a rear end accident, uh, fairly minor overall, besides the uh, trunk lid that needed replacement. But uh, but yeah, so with that out of the way, we'll get started with our video walkthrough. Um, now, like I said, uh, first I'll just kind of walk around the vehicle, give you guys a general overview, and then after that, we'll dive in a little bit deeper. So here we are coming around towards the driver's side of the vehicle. And here we are coming around towards the rear. And here we are back on the passenger side. All right, so from here, we'll take a closer look at the uh, front bumper cover. Now I'll be looking for any imperfections. Um, I'll try to cover as much as I can, but uh, taking a look at the front bumper cover, now it does have some bug stains, so it's kind of hard to differentiate, but it seems like there's a minor, uh, actually that just comes off, there's some residue on there. But uh, overall, the front bumper cover seems to be in very good condition. Taking a look at the headlights, Headlights seem nice and clear, no haziness to them. Uh, we do have some fog lights on this vehicle as well since uh, it is an SXT. And then taking a look at the hood. Um, we do have some, I guess it's mostly what I see is just bug splatters, but uh, I guess there are some minor rock chips on the hood, which is evident of, you know, highway driving. Um, this vehicle does have 161,000 miles on the odometer, so most of this stuff is normal. Uh, coming around to the front driver's side fender, looking for any dents or scratches or any imperfections that might be there. I guess there's a small little dent just right over here. Can't even see it in person, but the camera's doing a camera's picking it up a little bit right there. Um, now taking a look at the front tires, actually all the tires on all four sides are in great condition. They're almost, I want to say they're pretty much brand new. Uh, it's got a set of Michelins, all four sides. Brakes are also in good condition. So somebody definitely kept up with this vehicle. Unfortunate that they got into an accident. Um, now taking a look at the driver's side door. Once again, looking for dents or scratches or anything like that. I guess we have a little bit of a uh, scratch right there but other than that pretty minor don't see a whole lot on the driver's side uh, taking a look at the driver's side rear door don't see a whole lot um, I guess there's a small little chip right there and a imperfection right there but the rear door seems to be in good condition as well moving on to the driver's side rear quarter panel now we do have a I guess a dent right over here not sure what that's caused from um, I doubt it's from the accident just because most of the damage was uh, concentrated on the passenger side but uh, it does have a little dent right over here all right uh, once again tires are in great condition now once again we are back at the rear of the vehicle so as I stated earlier this trunk lid was replaced as well as this tail light and then the rear bumper reinforcement was replaced as well um, taking a look at the rear bumper cover this is the same bumper cover that came with the vehicle um, 
Now it does have um, some minor cracks over here. Now these cracks, so the bumper cover was removed and these craft, uh, cracks were reinforced with metal staples. So it's actually stronger over here by the metal cracks just because they have uh, metal reinforcements in the back than you know, a traditional plastic bumper would be. But uh, as you can see, there are my, uh, imperfections over here. So there is a little bit of cracking right there. Um, that's the rear of the vehicle. Um, just kind of moving on to the passenger side. Now taking a look at the passenger side rear quarter panel. Um, don't see uh, basically any dents or scratches. Um, seems to be in pretty good condition right there. Taking a look at the rear tire, once again, great condition. Now moving on to the passenger side rear door. Very good condition as well. We do have some, I guess, minor chips right over here. Actually, that just wiped off. And so I guess this one little chip right over here on the rear door. I'm taking a look at the passenger side front door. Overall, very good condition. Don't see a whole lot of dents or scratches or anything like that. Um, taking a look at the mirror. We do have a little minor scrape mark right over here on the passenger side mirror. Nothing too major. And then the front fender also seems to be in good condition. Alrighty, so that was the exterior condition of the vehicle. So from here, we'll take a look at the interior. Open this door up. So as you can see, we've got the driver's door right over here. Now this vehicle is equipped with power windows as well as power door locks, power mirrors. And then this is the uh, rear uh, third row windows right there. And those are controlled from right over here. We got plenty of storage, as you can see. And now taking a look at the interior. We do have some uh, leather or vinyl uh, interior seating all the way around. So great to clean up if there's any messes. And, uh, the front seat is powered, as you can see, with lumbar support as well. And then this is our dash. All right, so from here, we'll climb inside and go over some of the features. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we are behind the steering wheel of this uh, 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan and we'll take a look at the instrument cluster. So as you can see, we've got the RPMs right over there. Idles nice and smooth. Um, we also have 161,000 miles on the odometer right there. And then we've got the speed, uh, speedometer on the right side right there. Um, so this middle screen, as you can see, there's no warning lights or anything like that. There's no warning messages, no check engine light or, or basically any other lights, which is good to see. And then we'll just kind of zoom out and take a look at the steering wheel. Um, now we do have some steering wheel mounted controls. On the right side of the steering wheel, we've got the cruise controls for the vehicle. Um, and on the left side, we've got a few infotainment controls, I guess you can call it. You can answer or disconnect your phone right from the steering wheel right here. And then this setup and reset is basically to flip through the screen in the instrument cluster. We do have some buttons on the back of the uh, steering wheel as well. Um, couldn't tell you exactly uh, what each of them do. I believe one of them is for the volume control. I think it might be the left one. And then the, we do have some buttons behind the steering wheel right over here as well. Behind the steering wheel, we also have our typical turn signal stock right there, which also doubles as wiper operation. And then right over here, we've got the transmission selector. Uh, vehicle is an automatic, as you can see. And then right over here, we got our headlight controls. So we do have the auto function for the uh, headlights and then parking lights. And then if you just want to turn them on yourself as well. All right, um, just kind of taking a look at the dashboard. As you can see, dashboard is nice and clean. There's no rips or tears or cracks. Nice and clean right there. Um, in the middle of the dashboard, we've got our audio controls for the vehicle. Now this vehicle is equipped with AM, FM, as well as CD, and then satellite radio as well. I believe uh, right over here is the aux connectivity. Um, all fairly simple to use. We do have some voice activated controls uh, to answer or disconnect your phone. So this vehicle does have Bluetooth as well. We also have Sirius XM radio. And then beneath that, we've got our vent controls right over here. And then uh, beneath the vent controls, we've got our climate controls. Um, so driver side, passenger side. So we do have a uh, dual zone uh, climate control as well as uh, climate control for the rear. So kids can have a different temperature and parents can have a different temperature up here. Uh, we do have the fan control 
right in the middle. And then the vent controls are listed right on the sides. Right over here, we got our hazard switch right there and traction control button and then the uh, economy mode right there. Apologize, it's kind of dark, uh, hard to see over here. I'll try to turn on the light, see if we can find a button. All right. So we do have some storage cubbies right here uh, to put your wallet or phone. It can be just stored right there. We do have this as well. And then uh, 12 volt uh, power outlets, two of them right in the storage cubby right there. And then also have some cup holders right here and then ample storage right here as well. And then also have additional storage right there. I apologize, can't see, but uh, the black interior definitely hides a lot of things. Um, but uh, right over here, we've got our passenger seat. As you can see, nice and clean, no rips or tears. Um, interior of this vehicle, it's hard to believe that this is a minivan. Typically the minivan interiors are pretty beat up, but this one is exceptionally clean. Um, the only imperfection that we have noticed in the interior is on the driver's side uh, armrest right over here, which is to be expected since this vehicle does have 161,000 miles. But, uh, that is the only interior imperfection that we have come up with. Alrighty guys. So from here, we will check out the rear seating area or some of it. Uh, so this vehicle does have power uh, doors as well, as you can see. And this is on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. We have captain's chairs in the second row. Um, and this vehicle is equipped with stow and go. So basically what that means is these uh, chairs just kind of fold into the ground and then you have uh, plenty of storage for, you know, whatever, whatever you choose. Um, and then behind these captain's chairs, you do have a bench seat for the third row passengers. Once again, plenty of room back here. It is a minivan, so room is of the essence right there. And then from here, we'll take a look at the trunk compartment. So the vehicle is equipped with a uh, power lift gate as well, right here. And then plenty of storage uh, room right here. And then these seats, the third row seat also folds in um, plush into the ground as well. All right, so like I stated, we do have a power closing trunk as well. Awesome. And then power doors right here. Alrighty. So as you guys can tell, the vehicle is currently running, but we'll take a look at the engine compartment right now. Alrighty guys. So as you can see, we are in the engine compartment for this vehicle. So from here, I'll just kind of be quiet for a second, let you guys take a listen. As you guys can tell, super smooth running engine. There's no odd noises or vibrations. Um, also no leaks. Uh, this vehicle has been very well taken care of and it's very evident when you take a look in the engine compartment. Alrighty, so from here, we'll take a look at the undercarriage. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we've got the vehicle on the left. So from here, we'll take a look at the undercarriage. We'll just kind of work our way from the front and all the way to the back. Starting with the engine and transmission, right over here, we got the engine on the passenger side and the transmission on the driver's side. As you can see, nice and clean, no oil leaks or anything like that. Um, even up here, nice and clean engine and transmission. Um, taking a look at the subframe, nice and solid, no rust issues or anything like that. Um, and apologize if it's gonna be a little bit dark over here. But uh, this is the passenger side uh, suspension. Got the CV boot right over here. Uh, it's nice and intact. Now, if this was leaking, we would see grease all over the place and it would just look like a mess. But as you can see, nice and dry, no issues there. Got the control arm right over here and then the tie rod right there and sway bar links right over here. Everything is properly mounted and secured. Now, moving on to the driver's side, got the same thing over here. CV boot is intact. Everything is nice and dry, nice and clean. And then thing is properly mounted and secured on the driver's side as well all right so we will just kind of move work our way down I'm just gonna move this apparatus out of the way and then 
just gonna swing around and take a look at the subframe so this is the front subframe for the vehicle once again no rust issues nice and solid in fact still has uh, factory paint on it which is great to see right over here we've got the back side of the engine uh, surprisingly plenty of room back here all right we got the exhaust pipe running from the engine all the way to the back and then we also have the uh, AC lines right over here and right over here we've got the brake lines for the vehicle once again nice and clean no corrosion issues or anything like that um, got the rocker panels for the vehicle right here nice and solid no rust issues and then this is the structural portion of the vehicle as well as you can see still has the factory paint so very good to see now this is uh the rocker panels on the passenger side the exhaust pipe is in the way but uh it is free of corrosion as well Alrighty, guys so got the fuel lines over here once again no corrosion issues and then uh, we will just kind of work our way to the rear suspension at the i believe this is the fuel tank right over here it is plastic so there's going to be no corrosion issues on that and then right over here we've got the rear suspension for the vehicle i'll just kind of zoom out a little bit um, so right here we've got the rear subframe or torsion beam nice and intact uh, rear shocks and springs are nice and dry no leakage or anything like that and then taking a look at the passenger side once again same thing everything is properly mounted and secured and then coming around so right over here um, I will try to point it out this is the rear bumper reinforcement so this is the part that was replaced after the vehicle was rear-ended um, this side had some damage and then we do have some lingering damage right over here now this is just the floor plan uh, floor pan of the vehicle it's the sheet metal um, the uh, structural portion so it was this this was replaced right um, and then ready all right guys so from here we'll just kind of actually before we work our way back it's a great time to take a look at the tires so these are the two rear ones and then we'll just work our way to the front and then so this is the driver's side tire and then passenger side right over here. Alrighty, and this concludes our undercarriage walkthrough. Alrighty guys, once again, thank you for taking an interest in this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to ask and we'll be happy to get those answered for you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.